2017, Chris Froome made history by winning the 2017 Tour de France and Vuelta Espana straight after each other, back to back. And now look at this. Signs are pointing to a Giro d'Italia. Could he do? Could he win the three the three races? How would all Grand Tours? So, and maybe even do the World Championships and have the triple cap, triple crown at the same time. That would be insane. But anyway, so if we look through back. Chris Froome's Tour de, uh, Tour de France victory this year and his Vuelta Spaniel victory, and also what he's done before. Uh, we can take a guess of what roughly he's going to do in preparation for these races. So he'll probably start, he likes to start normally in February when he's racing, so he'll go to Australia, probably a bit Gold Coast, maybe a bit Adelaide, might seem down there. Uh, so he'll do the, I think, pretty similar. So la last year he did race in Australia, then he did Catalonia, Roman, the Dauphiné. Tour de France he does that pretty much every year, and then after the Tour de France, just rested Walter Waltz. Uh, Garrett Thomas, who was going to do the Giro, I think is a good person to look at. So he also started in January. Will Froome start earlier? Maybe, but I doubt it. I think Froome quite likes starting a bit later, but he might be forced to start a bit early because if he's doing the Giro, but anyway, I don't think he will. Terreno, I'm not sure he'll do Terreno. Uh, Catalonia, he'll definitely do Catalonia. Then Tour of the Alps, I think, is a very high chance. Number one, just for the preparation for the Giro, but also for the preparation of the World Championships, as it's the same course. The Giro, the Route du Sud, then the Tour de France, and then the Tour of Britain, and then the World Championships. So I think I think 2018, Chris Room will do Cadell Evans Road Race. I think then he'll do the Herald Sun Tour. Then he'll do Catalonia, I think, because I, I, I think he really likes that race, and it's a good race for him. Then I think he'll do the Tour of the Alps, he, could, he was thinking about doing Tour of Yorkshire, maybe, but I think he'll, he doesn't like racing too much, so I think he'll do the Tour of the Alps. Then he'll do the Giro d'Italia, which he might win, but we'll see. Uh, and then I think after that, he'll do the Route de Sud. I think there's a very high chance he'll do the Route de Sud, just because, in reality, it sort of suits him. A lot of people do it. Quintana's done it before. Contador's done it before. Like, when you think both of them did the Giro... The Giro Tour double, both of them failed, but you can see both Quintana and Contador thought it was a good idea, so I wouldn't be surprised if Sky does that, just for, to get a bit of racing. There's also an extra week in between, normal, like, usually, which some people are saying is bad because it means that you're, it's harder to keep your form, because obviously they're very close together, you can keep your form for the whole time, but if they're further apart, they just have to peak, come down, and then peak again. So anyway, the Tour de France will definitely be a good good indicator if he can do the double and I think oh sorry if he can do the triple the triple crown of getting the, the Tour de France the Giro and the World Championships I think it'll be really hard for Froome to do both to be honest because people will be peaking like Richie Port Richie Port will do so well if Froome because Richie Port crashed this year and still might have won I think he still would have won um, this year's Tour de France had even um, had he not crashed and this year I think Richie Port will be concentrating on only the Tour de France well Froome will be trying to do this Giro Tour de France craziness. So that will be hard for him. But anyway, let's say he does win the Tour de France. Then I think he'll do the Tour of Britain. Because I have a bit of a rest off that I think he'll like some... Not to, not to be disrespectful for the Tour of Britain, but not, not incredibly hard racing. I think he'll do that. And then he'll... Because also, he hasn't raced in the Tour of Britain. He says he likes to race in Britain a bit more. And he... Um, obviously, the sponsors Sky are British. So I think there's a high chance he does that. And then there'll be the World Championships, which will ha take place in late September, where he could, in theory, win the individual time trial and road race. Um, if we look at the races and courses, the individual time trial for Faruma, Chris Faroum, will be very favourable for him, as it's going It's going to be up a, a very steep wall, I believe. So yeah, you can see there's a big hit climb at the front, so there's a very high chance he'll do well on that. And then, if we go on the actual race, there's also a very high chance he'll do well on that. I think the problem he has is that Tom de Moulin, I think one-on-one, -on -one, Tom de Moulin will be able to, Chris Room will be able to beat Tom de Moulin, because Chris Room is definitely the better, better climber, and I think in time trial-wise, they're not, they're not too dissimilar. If you think about the 2016 Tour de France, when Tom de Moulin was only concentrating, he was only concentrating on the Rio Olympics, and... Chris Froome was trying to do GC, and Tom de Moulin beat him in the first time trial by like a minute or something, and then the second time trial, Chris Froome won, so, and de Moulin was second, and in the real one, Chris Froome came third, and de Moulin came second, and it wasn't too far in it, so I feel like 
I feel like in the Giro, if both of them are there, I think Chris Froome will probably win it. But I think if Tom de Milan sees Chris Froome doing the Giro, he might tie up the Tour de France. Because, obviously, the cobbles suit de Milan quite a lot. But, yeah, this will be a wide one now. This does not, not, not look like what I wanted to see. Um, if we go on road race, which takes me to the weird thing. Uh, if we go on download map, this might be it. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be a hilly affair. I mean, people are saying maybe Sagan can win it, but I'm just, I just don't know. It will be, it will just, it's just the climbs are very long, so I think it'll be interesting to see how they're ridden. I think Chris Room has a chance, definitely. Um, but anyway, we will see. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vid. And will Chris Froome pull off the Giro Tour double? Will he hold all Grand Tours? And will he do the triple crown of the Giro Tour world champs? No one knows. Only Chris Froome, Tim Kerrison and Brailsford know what Froome is going to do next year. But anyway, cheers for watching. See ya.